I'm Eric Chopin. I won season three. I was the big guy that season back in the day when the only big guys were 400 pounds. I was 407, got down to 193, lost 214 pounds. Did good for about a year and a half, and then uh, I started to struggle with my weight. I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I, and I lost my purpose, and I became depressed. And when I had that feeling, I stopped working out, and I stopped eating correctly. Hi, Eric. Hello, everybody. Hey. Doing, guys? But I did some soul searching, um, and I'm, I've lost about 70 pounds. Of that. I'm, I'm around 300 now, and uh, and I'm just looking forward to getting back to a, a comfortable, reasonable weight. Nice, nice to see, see you. you. I knew he had gained weight, but to actually see him and see that he put on all that weight, it kind of it kind of breaks my heart. But I don't know his struggle yet. I don't know what he's gone through, and I'm hoping he can share a story so I can understand. Eric, your journey is a little different. You regained almost all of your former weight. And now you are working very hard, as we can see, to take it off again. Well, I mean, I weighed myself a few months back, and I saw that I got to 368. It was spinning out of control. And uh, I know I can offer you guys a lot of help on that, because I'm going to tell you right now, what you're doing, you don't want to do it twice. And I'm doing it the second time. Eric and Helen are going to stick around for a while, talk to you, enjoy your last week on campus. You know you'll be seeing me soon. Bye, guys. Have a good day. It was really nice to see you. You too. Enjoy it, Eric. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Bye. Hearing his story about how he gained all the weight back, you know, it was just an eye opener. He won the $250,000, and he went home, and he gained all of his weight back. And now he's having to do it all over again. And that's definitely a place I never want to be. I kind of had a stumble, obviously. And, you know, there's things that I know that are like telltale signs that you guys kind of have to avoid and take notice of. Yeah. It's very hard. I mean, if you come from a place where you like to eat and you associate food with good times, and this is like, Hard times and the good times are coming back again, uh-uh. When weight creeps on, you're going to say, it's not a big deal, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, I'll knock that off in a, in a couple of weeks. And you give yourself this pass. Because in your brain, everybody in your gym that you go work out at home, you're better than them. You can, you can diet better than them, you can work out harder than them. So you keep giving yourself these passes. Just watch that. The thing about Eric is this. It's a prime example that it doesn't end after this. I'm not going to lose all this weight, you know, get to the finale, look good, be proud of myself, and then go back to my old ways because I'll end up back the way I was before, miserable and depressed. I don't want to do that. Well, I think we want to kind of break off and like really talk to you one-on-one -on -one and maybe, you know, just get some information from you and, yeah. and kind of like answer some of your questions and help you through this. I got to take pink first. I'm sorry, but I just got to take pink first. All right, cool. Okay. Cool. I'm glad you're here. I've got tons of questions. Well, I'm glad I'm here that I can answer them for you. I think she couldn't have come at a better time for me. I think it was kind of an eye-opener for me that, one, I need to figure out when I get home, like, I need a game plan, you know? Not just to get me to finale, but after the finale. What kind of lifestyle am I going to decide to live so I can keep this weight off? I know when you went home, you had some concerns with drinking wine and stuff like that because yeah. I partied a lot. and. And I know that I've changed, but when I go home, everything will still be the same. It will. We had makeover week, yes. and my sister and my best friend came, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. But it did make me realize that it's going to be a challenge when I go home, because they're still living a lifestyle that I can't live. Right. When I partied and I got a buzz, I didn't feel my weight as much. And I could go on the dance floor and dance and not feel as self-conscious. But I'm so sick of walking through restaurants and clubs and having everyone stare at me and judge me. I'm really disappointed in myself today. What you're going to have to do is sit them down and tell them, I'm still on a journey. And it's not just about today. It's about the rest of my life and how you handle it. Right. You know, yeah. because it is. This is about your life long term. Right. Right? Yeah, definitely.